Hi, it's been so long since I've seen you. I really wish I could do something about this stinking glare, guys. One sec, let me see if this doesn't close all the way. Uh, okay, I, I promise right after I get the lighting equipment, I will um, get um, um, what you call it um, curtains especially for that window and the one in front of me because <sighs> it's driving me nuts it's got to be driving you nuts <sighs> there's literally nothing I can do about it okay oh look balloonicorn how many of you know what balloonicorn is from if you know what balloonicorn is from leave that leave that on a message here because blue unicorn back there is special so I'm kind of confused I'm pretty sure this came by mail when um, I and I just didn't notice it um, this is from beyond the rack um, yeah this is just no it says UP UPS. I'm going to have to do another status, check my status on guilt, because, like, I'm getting, I mean, yeah, I know it could be in another truck, but it's like, I know they're only Spanx, but it's like, with that coach bracelet, that's a coach bracelet, <laughs> and, um, I'm, I almost feel the same way about the Spanx because I wouldn't like pay full price for those ever and I've been waiting for them to pop up on a website for a long time um, because I won't pay full price for them you know, if Kohl's ever had a sell on them, because Kohl's does get good, you know, they have good sells, I would probably buy them then. Um, but, like, you would think that, um, because right now it's just saying that end of day. End of day could be 8 o'clock. That's when they stop delivering. Um, obviously, UPS... It, it, usually comes in the mail so I'm wondering if this was parcel with um, the mail and they just brought it to the door because it wouldn't fit in the mailbox so um, I'm I am a little stressed over my shapewear <laughs> I'm also stressed that they're gonna be wildly insane that's what I, in my last video I was trying to explain so like my nails broke right and Spanx I've heard stories like in reviews that people had gone to purchase Spanx and have literally and I'm sure these are more like the bodysuit types have gotten stuck in the Spanx and could not get them off and had to scream for a sales assistant to help them get them off so when my nails before they, they, one broke yesterday um, because when I put on my assets which are made by Spanx I would feel so tight and they are starting to you know stretch and kind of like nylons do where they they kind of start to stretch like the elastic band has moved you know I'm hoping that with Spanx because those are supposed to be you know the higher quality and and all that 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 won't happen with them not to mention you know I want a few pairs of shapewear so I can rotate so I'm not wearing the same and I advise you do this as well get one to two pairs of Spanx like the good stuff and then 
get either assets or another um, fairly good um, brand. The only other good brand I know of is assets, which the ones I got, I don't know, you probably haven't seen my last, I just did a video, it's, I don't even know if it's done loading, but, um, and I haven't sent it out to, like, every website in the world, <laughs> like I always do, but, um, what was my stinking point? Uh, I forget. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, like, get a, you know, a, and you want to have at least a good three to four pair, so get, like, buy like one pair of real Spanx, maybe two, and then maybe two to three pairs of assets, which are fairly cheap. Don't buy them all at once, you know, just buy them, you know, when you have time, but don't wait too long, like, I should have, that's why when I bought the other brand, um, that, yeah, they're okay, um, I wouldn't really recommend them, um, I would re really recommend assets, um, uh, I did see another brand um, on one of my websites. I don't remember which one. That uh, it wasn't assets, but they they basically looked exactly the same as um, the way assets and Spanx are made. So I'm assuming that they probably work fairly well. So, but um, let's get to why I'm here. I got a Beyond the Rack shipment that I didn't know. Was, I knew stuff had been shipped, but I didn't know I was getting it today. I already know. Oh, I think I, I'm pretty sure I already know what this is. Why do they make this so stinking difficult? I mean, I understand, you know, they don't want people opening it, and that's good, but like, this is not I'm not gonna, I'm not worried about cutting the cloth. <laughs> Ow! Smashed my finger. Um, if these are what I assume they are, um, they're really cute. And I wanted to get some, you'll see. I'll explain it to you when you see them. Oh my goodness. I can't even pull it out. <laughs> Sorry. It just sounded funny. <laughs> These are not everyday shoes, if they're the pair that I believe that they are. These were also like nineteen they may have been $16.99, but I'm pretty sure they were $19.99. Oh, they even have them wrapped in cloth. How nice is that? <sighs> they're so, like... <laughs> they're so... <laughs> Housewives of Beverly Hills. Oh, my God. Vanderpump <laughs> and their pink bottoms <laughs> but I wanted a pair of evening shoes of evening stilettos because I don't really have any yes these are about six inches but oh, that's all like sticky right there it kind of sucks, but, um, they're made by Les, Lasonia, um, they're, 
I'll read the entire description. Um, blah, 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 blah. Hannah Platform Pump in Multicolor Glitter. Um, I don't really have anything like this. You know, if I do go out to, you know, say the casino or, cause like, yeah, you're going to walk around in the casino, but not too much. Like if you go for dinner or, um, if you are sitting at a slot machine, you know, these are the kind of shoes that you wear when you're going to get dressed up but you're going to be sitting a lot more than you're going to be walking. These are not something that I would be wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> they're, they're very, very cute. I have seen shoes like this um, on TV <laughs> millions of times and thought, you know what, I need to get me a pair of those type of shoes for I own one cocktail dress. I have been, you know, up until now, I have been searching and, and they did on Beyond the Rack, they were doing like this um, big blowout sell on a bunch of dresses and I did buy a dress, it's a fit and flare and it's something I normally wouldn't wear but I thought it would be, you know, it's a very spring summer dress and I just thought, you know, it was really cheap. It was like $16.99. Um, and I thought, you know what, I, I should get something like that rather than, like this would look good with um, that black sheath dress I have. Like I could pull that off with, with these um, if I'm not going, like, this would be the, you know, put on a little bit more, you know, sparkular, you know, like, kind of like bling it up as far as jewelry and then the shoes and then have, you know, either the clutch I just got or, you know, a BCBG clutch and kind of make these the, um, the highlight <laughs> of my outfit. What's funny is in the picture they come off as red. So, but I knew that they want, I do have a pair of red bottoms that they're not Louis Vuittons, but um, they are red bottom and they're really, I, I've told you guys, um, I haven't had a chance to wear them yet though. So, um, hopefully, um, because I do want to start having some nice date nights with my husband. We have so many places. I mean, even just in, here in Birch Bay, um, people have, cause I, I, you know, I've been here not even two years. There's not, especially here in the village, um, except for summer, there's not many people my age that live here year round because it is a um like not a retirement community but it's a vacation community so during as soon as September hits it's like bam it's a ghost town all the stores close it's I mean everybody's gone but like right now we're getting more people you know spring's coming as soon as May hits this place is going to open right back up and then summer summer's nuts if you did watch the the fake video that I did for my thousandth video or I said Birch Bay was celebrating my thousandth video from last that was last fourth of July's um fireworks display now the way it works is, okay, the bay goes in a very large U shape. And even for like um, the New Year's, we do, the, it's called the Ring of Fire and Hope, where we get flares. 
and you will see I have pictures of it but because it's dark it's very glary um, people get a whole bunch of flares and lanterns and you can see all the way to um, Birch Bay State Park that's all the way across the bay um, on the whole other side from where I'm at and um, just see red all the way around it's gorgeous but the 4th of July here because fireworks are legal because you shoot them off out into the bay and it's all water so it's insane and in if you notice in the video yeah it's a poor quality video one it was nice nighttime two people are lighting fireworks in every stinking direction and they're going off like it's like a five I mean they start when it's daylight it's like a five hour event of people with fireworks just non-stop from around I want to say 6 to 7 p.m. which is still daylight to like midnight and it's just you know we bought and you can there are firework places everywhere we have leftovers from last year you can buy any kind of firework you want like literally any kind you want anything that you would see at Disneyland you can buy it here in Birch Bay so um, you know I did try to take you know this was with my phone so I did try to take the best video I could but you know it's hard when you're going and you don't know when they're gonna be shut shot off it's not like you know like with at Disneyland I have everything memorized. I actually have taped Phantasmic and I know exactly what's going to happen and when it's going to happen so I have a video of it where you literally see every part <laughs> because I know what's gonna happen next but it's not like that here because like we had a thousand fireworks um the ones that were really close that was my husband and my nephew shooting them off um and then like we had a big group on one side with another group on the other side and i mean there's just it's probably m more fireworks than disney puts off every night when they do their fireworks show um that one day um, here in Birch Bay because they take like the especially the summer holidays very seriously they have sand cast castle contests the first of the year New Year's Day there's polar bear plunge because it's January it gets sticking cold here there could be ice in the water and people will go out and people win like they even have like duck races where you pay for however many little duckies and they because we have like a little stream and like or it goes in the river and all that and like it has a number on it on your ducky and you win stuff like if your duck decides to get through the river quicker enough about Birch Bay more about the shoe but no um yeah I I because they were such a good price um I don't even think that they were 19.99 I'm pretty sure these were they were between 9.99 and 16.99 and um I bought them because I had bought them something else and then you get free shipping after you purchase something for three days so that's another thing where they get me is I find something um that like I might actually need and um it's a good deal and then you know there's that email oh you have three days of free shipping and I'll see something else and I go you know what I don't like I do I, I have one other pair 
of um, hills that aren't as high as these um, that could be worn for like um, a sp more like a wedding rather than like you know cocktail attire like this is more cocktail attire so um, I did want and this is the only pair I will buy that is in this style because I wanted to have at least one pair of um, like cocktail shoes um, depending on like if I do need to do go to a black tie event depending on what kind of gown I might be wearing this could go with um, a nice gown especially if it's a very long gown and I need some height <laughs> so you know yeah they're a little a little overboard for an evening gown but they do it in Beverly Hills so um, <laughs> I've actually like seen wedding in Beverly Hills um, on the Real Housewives I think it was on Vanderpump Rules where Sheena was given a pair of shoes that looked almost exactly like this as a present for her wedding shoes so yes these might look absolutely crazy to most people but the world I come from these are totally normal <laughs> so um, I like I like them for Vegas like of course course I'm gonna you know but not to walk around <laughs> more for you know going out to dinner or sitting you know gambling unless my legs get stronger and I'm able to walk faster in these bad boys <laughs> Um, and hopefully I'll have my arm around my husband and he will not walk super fast and stay with me when if when and if like we go to a Christmas party or something like that where I need to wear these shoes so that's that hopefully my sh my um, shapewear will get here um, sooner rather than later because I'm really <laughs> looking forward to my Spanx but I, I'm so stressed like I said before I'm so stressed that they're going to be so tight that I'm not going to be able to get them on because of the horror stories I've heard so let's hope and pray that they're not <laughs> <laughs> Oy. yeah so yeah I'm glad I got these they're a good deal and you know now if an occasion arises I don't have to go oh my god I don't have shoes now I have shoes and in in that book the Nina Garcia book the 100 and I bring this up because she makes valid points don't wait till you need one to buy one buy one like when it comes to evening gowns and like Sue Wong the, the designer I see a lot of that uh, of her gowns at great prices I just haven't bought any bought any bought any, that was a sound like one word I have not bought any yet because I don't think I want to buy um a gown like that um, without trying it on however I do have a designer that um, said that she would make a custom gown a uh, custom gown for me so um, but it's gonna cost like a lot um, and I told her that I wanted to like wait until I had lost more weight so um, 
it might be a while before I have that done. Like, that's going to be a couple grand if I actually do it. So, um, but I was very honored that um, she had, I'm not going to say any names, but um, yeah, I was very, very honored that I, she had asked, you know, and said that she would make one for me. Yes, because of the material. I'm not a celebrity or a star, so of course I'm going to have to pay for it, but the fact that it would be my own gown for me, that's something that people don't usually get that kind of opportunity. So, like, if I had the, if I was already the way I wanted to be, I would have been like probably wanting to buy it right then and there. Um, I would figure like, you know, even if I had to slap down the $2,000 right there, you know, I would, but, um, no, I want to, I want to wait. So, um, hopefully maybe I can, um, show her designs online and maybe get a little bit of a discount. <laughs> no, the fact that she even offered to hand make this gown for me was very flattering and I, I'm very, 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 very honored and like there's no words to describe how um, like I feel like I want to bow like thank you so much so um if that does get done you will definitely see it so um this is Gina Rigglesworth reporting live at Rigglesworth Studios <laughs> here in Birch Bay and that was my fashion report for stilettos for evening or for cocktail. You decide. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys. Good night. I'll see you when guilt gets here. I, like, all I need is for head my head to spin in a circle. My God, that movie. I, oh, my God. I watched it, like, once, and I was like, I will never watch that movie again. Not because, like, I was scared, but, like, some of the stuff that I saw in it was just, like, I can't believe that that's happening. So, I mean, yeah, it was, because it, I didn't watch it until I was 33 years old. Just because, like, I really didn't care. I'm not, like, screen movies don't bother me. It's just that, like, I knew it was an old movie, and I really didn't care all that much. But, you know, I wanted to know what all the fuss was about. And, sheesh, there are some parts in there where I am like, seriously, they just did that? Holy cow. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed my super sparkly stilettos. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. I thank you again for all your views. And just keep watching. Just keep watching. Just keep watching. Just keep watching. Watching, 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 watching. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.